Meet Sully, a cuddly, compatible pup who's a bit nervous and shy around other dogs. And meet Roscoe, a playful and spunky multi-poo who's reactive and sometimes aggressive towards other dogs because he hasn't been socialized enough. They're soon to spend six days together. Will they become friends? In this video, watch as our reactive multi-poo makes friends with another dog. Over a period of six days, filled with fun adventures from hiking to playing fetch to visiting a waterfall, you'll see Roscoe's aggressive, yappy behavior transition to gentle playfulness. Just a little disclaimer, we are by no means training experts. We've learned pretty much everything we know through YouTube videos and trial and error. To prepare for the trip, we set up a few doggy playdates for Roscoe and Sully to get familiar with each other. On their first meeting, Roscoe was whining a lot, despite the distance between them. My dad kept telling Roscoe the quiet command and gave him treats when he stopped whining and paid attention to him rather than Sully. Next, my dad moved closer and told Roscoe to heal as he walked near to Sully. Then he told Roscoe to settle down and sat still so Roscoe could quietly observe the other dog. When Sully moved closer, Roscoe got super excited. We allowed him to greet Sully, but it might have been a bit too soon because he lunged at him and gave what appeared to be a little nip on the nose. In response to this, my dad once again had Roscoe settle down. Then we let the two dogs simply watch each other without having them greet again so that we'd avoid any negative experiences before Roscoe was used to Sully. The play day ended well with both dogs settled down near to each other. The next time Roscoe visited Sully, it was inside. We let Roscoe sniff Sully, but kept Roscoe on a leash at all times. We told him settle down next to Sully's dog bed, and he did a lot better than the last meeting in terms of barking and whining and overall energy. Whenever Sully moved, however, Roscoe was startled and clearly a bit scared. Sometimes when Roscoe got overwhelmed, he'd yip at Sully. Oh. <laughs> By the end of the session, Roscoe was able to play while Sully was around the corner lying in his dog bed. The third playdate was at our house, and we were pleased to see that Roscoe wasn't territorial. He improved massively this time. He'd occasionally bark, but most of the time he just sniffed Sully and gently investigated. In fact, Roscoe started to play and pay no notice to the other dog on the couch. Then Roscoe began to drop his ball on Sully's paw, which was the cutest little thing ever. He wanted to play. So we arrived at the lake house this afternoon and have been making ourselves at home and just sort of hanging out and Roscoe is getting used to just chilling here. What do you smell? <laughs> Beaver? Playing a game of evening ball. There's the other doggy. This is what happens when you stalk him. Taking the dogs out to go potty. Yes, gentle. Not play? That is the play stance. With Say, Roscoe. 
Leave it. Come. Rusko, come. Yes, come. Sit. Stay. Good boy, Rusko. Come. Yes, come. Good boy. Hey, Rusko. Shh. Gentle. Yes. Good boy, Rusko. Yeah. He wants a pancake. So much. <laughs> Hi, you did it. Yeah. Yeah, he sees a rock. Look at this tree, how it grew. Rascal, you eating some lunch? <laughs> We made it down to the lake. You drinking the lake water? Hi, Rascal. Is it dead? Is it dead? This is sausage. Puppy torture. I feel so bad for looking snippets. Yes, good boy. Boy. It's my boy. That was so gentle. Yes. 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 Good boy. Is it pretty? Spin. Yes, gentle. Been raining all day, and we're finally getting outside to take Rasco for a little walk. Doing some training. So for a while this afternoon, Sully was just sleeping on his dog bed, and Rasco almost paid no notice to him. Sometimes he'd go up to him and you know gently sniff his nose, which was really cute. But for the most part, he was playing with his balls, and he even took a little nap. So both dogs are really getting more used to each other and are able to just you know be in the same room. The aftermath of a rainy walk. Making some catch soup. On fire. I won't catch on fire. Rosco, wrong, wrong. Hey. Rosco, leave it gentle. Go eat your food. Down, down, settle. Right there. Yes, settle. Stay. Stay. This is where you see Roscoe's also timid. Yeah. He's like, I'm not so shy. 
Risky, but I thought I'd try it. Yes, yes, settle. Boy, head down. I don't know if you can see, but there's a really pretty sunset over there. Roscoe did such a good job with Sully. Listen to the sound of his feet, it's crazy. Good boy, gentle. Yes, gentle. Good morning. He's still in there and he's not getting up. Come on. Oh, finally. Good boy. for a walk. Roscoe! Okay, we got Psycho Pooch. He found a little stick to gnaw on. Running free and in the wild. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Gentle. Yes, gentle. Oh, that's good, gentle. Yes, gentle. Wrong. Hey, no bark. Shh, quiet. Sully and Roscoe are making such good progress together. I'm starting to see Roscoe's aggression turn into playfulness. He never used to do the play posture with dogs, and now he's starting to do that with Sully, and he's not nipping or growling. We've also been trying to teach Roscoe the command, ah, bug, the command gentle, and it's going well so far. Good boy, Roscoe. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Roscoe, gentle, gentle. Yes, good boy, gentle. Hey. We're about to go to the town beach, so we're leaving Roscoe and Sully alone in different rooms. We're just getting Roscoe exercise so he can kind of relax while we're gone. Oh, hello! We're back! Hi, baby! Yeah. Spores. Hey, don't tease him. Like Spores. I think you just put it in the room. Go get Roscoe's toy. Where's your beaver? Sully took Roscoe's beaver and put it on the bed. <laughs> That's so funny.
Nah. Hey, don't chase. What are you doing? I think it's playful because he's sneezing. Hey, shh. It's okay, Roscoe. He's just munching chicken. Good boy. You cotton ball after your bath? First, go look at me. Hello. There. He catches their trail. He's following it. Oh, oh, that's so cute. He's like, where is he? <laughs> Oh wait, I think it took a picture. Oh yeah. You have to pay this. No, I have to pay me to cute. Do you have a fun kayak ride? So there you have it. Both Roscoe and Sully improved massively over these six days. Roscoe went from showing aggression to being playful and gentle towards Sully, and that for us was a huge encouragement. Bye, Lake House. Goodbye, yeah. Sully. Say goodbye to your new friend, Roscoe. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't gotten around to socializing your dog and he shows the same kind of behavior as Roscoe, I hope you feel encouraged from this video that with a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, your dog can come a long way.